Got all tweaked out, didn't even fucking have, fucking owe nobody, no nothing, no nothing, and fucking went out backwards off the yard because he thought the homeboys were going to kill him. And remember you were saying he probably had skeletons in his closet, yeah. more yeah. likely than yeah. not, but it's just fucking weird. Fucking people start doing speed on the, speed on the yard and they get all fucking hinky. Before they even fifty dollars in the debt, huh? Yeah, the two hundred dollar cap hasn't even hit yet. You know? <laughs> right. So, and, and I don't know how it is today, but back in the day, if Johnny Boy owes so much money and he couldn't pay it, you know, if he didn't want to step up and be about it, we'd take your collection, your debt would get paid, and he would get dealt with. You know what I mean? And you know, for your name to be good, you would have to do something to. You'd be up to bat, yeah. Up, you know, I remember a partner of mine was like, "Hey, badge, walk with me." This was one of the hankiest positions I've been put in in a long time, bro. And I happen to have a little love for the dude, and I'm like, "What's good?" Yeah, yeah. I'm like, "What's good?" He's like, uh, "Just walk with me." So we walk in to all the South Siders, bro. You know, I, I didn't trip, you know, because like they were something we would associate with. And he's all, we walked up and he's all, hey, about that money I owe you, homie, you're paid. This motherfucker, if you don't get him, I'm gonna, you know what I mean? Right. So I was already sour about it, bro. Hands laid, that's paid. I didn't, see, right? I didn't say nothing to him at that particular moment, but as we were walking away, I was like, dog, if they don't get you, I'm gonna. You know, and that's the cross I got put in for fucking caring about somebody, bro. Walk with me, and then fucking you go up into, you know, eight South Siders, and they got two over here, two over here that are both, you know, they're holding for sure. Before we get too far out of that, we're probably going to get plugged. And that's how they did me, bro. Um, you been put in any of those positions? I've put in a, a few fucked up positions, yeah. Play something out so they know the fucking sideline and this is fucking what these guys got. And when you go to meet everybody at the tables for the first unlock and you're fucking hugging your homeboys but you're patting people down to see if they got a knife on them, fucking see if fucking... For sure. Why well, have seen fucking, got magazines on them? Yeah, fucking what's going on when you can just feel the tension in the air and you just don't know what it's about? Well, if you don't know what it's about, you're the only motherfucker on the yard that does it and you're the one getting got. You know what I mean? Like if there's that much tension and fucking you don't know what's going on, right. odds are they're coming for you. Right. So we make it sound like this is what goes on, and guess what, guys? This is what goes on. It's a whole nother world. You know, like it's like a whole nother planet. You had mentioned, uh, let's say upstairs, downstairs, you know, Chino, home hall, fucking these guys good, these guys ain't. Fucking who's holding heat? Who's holding? You know what I mean? Like. Uh, you had mentioned some stories about some people that I know over there. Tell them a Paul Mall story. Not nothing that I'm going to put on Patreon, but let them know the sidewinderness. Fucking people fucking barking a bunch of shit on the fucking tears, saying shit that they... This is whose tear? Don't say names. Yeah, right this, this is fucking our tear. Fuck the woo-woo. It's like, whoa, brother, reel that shit in, you know what I mean? And then when it's fucking time to go to yard, and Palm Hall, the whites, we would we would yard together on a hard yard, all of us together. And uh, this cat who had been woofing, running his mouth on the tears, saying some things he shouldn't have said, all of a sudden ain't going to yard. And then when we come back to the yard, lo and behold, he's not around anymore. He's got a medical yeah, he, he fucking walked out backwards, went out smooth backwards. He was because this ticket was going to get punched. You know what I mean? For running his mouth like that on the tear. What makes people say that, bro? Fucking what makes Bruno. Bruno. Yeah. Another thing you may not Another want to Another dangerous fuck with fucking there. thing, yeah. You get put fucking a can of bravery and fucking a bunch of stupid shit comes out of people's mouths. And well, what about they, when homeboy gets in your mail reading your girl's letter and all of oh, a sudden? Oh, that's fucking hinky. That'll get a motherfucker killed quick, too. All of a sudden, he get a letter from your girl and you ain't. Yeah, that's fucking way out. I had a celly that fucking didn't know how to read well, so I used to read his letters for him. And uh, I was reading his letter one day, 
And I said, LOL. And he said, who's this Lowell character? I'm all, Lowell? What the fuck are you talking about? And he's all, yeah, LOL, Lowell. And I'm all, that's not fucking Lowell, motherfucker. That's laugh out loud. And he's all, god damn, I thought there was some Lowell character in my letters with this whole time. Yeah, that just, would be me, though, bro. <laughs> I just ran into him not too long ago, and, and, and I didn't, I had been seeing him for like two weeks at a program in North Hollywood, and, and I didn't recognize him. And then uh, I, asked, I asked him, yeah, you know so-and-so from Ventura? And he's like, that's me, bro. I was like, what the fuck? And, and he was my old celly, I just didn't recognize him. You're just changed that, huh? That's no, I was just burnt the fuck out. You're just burnt the fuck out? Do you go to you go to parole and do work with them still, like the star program and shit? I've never done the star program, never, never once. So I used to go visit them at and do you know assist with the star program and uh, I just couldn't do it anymore, bro. Like I've never done it. I, well, no, I wasn't involved in the star program, but like I would go over and I would be like, hey, you guys, you know me. This is these are the access the. Uh, stuff you have accessible to you, you can go to GR, you can go to... Uh, right, like the pack meet. Right, you let them know what we have available to us, because when we come out here, we don't fucking know nothing. I mean, we watched a whole bunch of calendars fall off the wall, is all we know, and then we don't know where the next meal's coming from, so we could probably catch a robbery or a burglary over some fucking stolen clothes when all we had to do was go to this facility, they help you fill out right, job like applications and fill in the time space. And like the Living and Learning Center or something like that that would help you fucking line is. up with a temp right. service. And fucking right. Guess what? There's a food bank right here. Fucking so you didn't have to steal for that next meal or that Snickers bar. Vocation, on the, vocational rehab, rehab that would help you get tools and money for clothes. I push folk rehab all the time, bro. Yeah. They hooked me up. $19,000 worth of fucking tools did I receive. Uh, my class was only, I feel like $129 for my plumbing class. $19,000 worth of tools, bro. I got a generator, a jackhammer, I got all that and shit. And the parole officers doesn't fucking they ain't gonna tell, you shit. Shit. tell you none of that. They oh, won't yeah, no give you a, fucking, they no give bus you a bus token, man. What are you talking about? Yeah. They'll leave you sitting in the fucking lobby all day, fucking, uh, fucking, yeah, 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 we got you, we got you, we got you, and hoping you'll leave. They'll never give you a fucking bus token. Shit yeah. So you need other people that aren't afraid to speak up and say, hey, what's up, my name's Badger, check it out, if there's anything I can do with assisting you, you know, I mean, the general relief offices in Sun Valley, they can help you with access to food, clothing, right. and possibly some cash, and as long as you're willing to, you know, uh, do these classes. A follow through, yeah. Right, right, as long as you're not too far spun out already from the gate probably get a few things going for you. Um, guys, don't go to prison. No. Quit using now before you do go to prison as a result of using and become that role model that you're supposed to be. The guy that gets up at 5.30 in the morning, goes to work by 7, gets home at this time, goes to the gym, stops at El Pollo Loco, comes home, takes a shower, rubs one out, or tosses her out, <laughs> and go to bed, man. That's it's not about white to. powder and we must secure the existence of another bag. It's not. Those are some things that that's really what they mean to the people these days, bro. Right. You know, all these fucking people that you think are so solid, talking about I love you, and white this, and black that, and, and brown that, and, God you can talk all the shit you want about me for sitting here and saying it. And don't get me wrong, should I go back, I would become that ignorant fella in four seconds time to keep my pride and ego up, bro. You know what I mean? Because if you don't have your pride, you may as well peel your pants down now. You know what I mean? Like, it's just... And, and I hate coming on here and saying that I would be that ignorant. But I would be that ignorant, you guys. I would have to be. Well, the more ignorant you are, the more left alone you are. You know, there's a couple of things you want to secure for sure. That's your next meal and fucking to be left alone. You know, and people that run in packs or tribes or clans. You know what I mean? Like, 
they're not strong willed and don't get me wrong, no one individual is gonna run that alone in prison. Yeah, I mean you do need the next man. I mean, what you don't want to do is come on YouTube and drop his name. You can't run with the wolves or become a fucking sheep. Right. And I don't even know how to fucking go. Yeah, right. Uh, some of them are spiritual meant to soar, man. You know what I mean? Either go shoot for the moon and fucking end up in the gutter, but at least you shot for the moon or something like that. I forget how the saying goes. Uh, there's pretty right there. Who's that, Maxie? Hi, Maxie the Kitty I Kitty. I took you as a celly real quick. <laughs> right? You've been the best celly ever. So, you know, they're doing that a lot now. They're taking the animals. Taking them, introducing them to juvenile hall, and they're having the kids train animals and stuff. But little do they know that some of these kids are so depraved, they're fucking animals off. I mean, but like pets are the fucking. If you want something to soothe your soul? Find a pet. Oh, yeah. I mean, if your girl can't do it that day, your cat might, or your dog might. Not yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm a little <laughs> right. I'm a little long-winded tonight. Because uh, I know Johnny is sometimes short on words, you know. Um, I only know like three. Huh? <laughs> I only know three words. <laughs> Feed me. Yeah. Now. <laughs> so. I like chocolate milk. I like chocolate milk. That's four okay. words, uh, Ty. You know, I can't count either. Oh, we don't count eyes. I. <laughs> so. Guys, you know, thank you for tuning in to another episode of Badgers Heavy Hitters. Please don't find yourself in a position you don't want to be in. Uh, I'm so grateful to get back to the basics, man. I'm so grateful to be walking in, and instead of going to a meeting and thinking I'm running that meeting or I'm, I'm uh, that guy at that meeting, that's like being that guy at a mental fucking institute. You know what I mean? It's not something I need to be. And worrying about what they're thinking about me, it's not something I need to do anymore, you know what I mean? Like, I was so okay with that. And the channel started getting to me with the comments and then other people banging on me on this channel. And so, like, but when it was coming at me from every angle, it started getting in my head, bro. You know what I mean? Like, fucking, oh. Pride Nego is a motherfucker, bro. Right. Get ready, you ain't got, stay ready, you ain't got to get ready has been a motto for life. And I just got to not living like that. You know what I mean, I got to... Going to bed, my girl crawls up in my arms and we go to sleep, man. And I was able to go to sleep every single night until like the last four to six months because everything was coming from me and I haven't really been given the tools to learn how to deal with all that shit before. I would just blow it off or just, you know, ram into it full blown head on. And that's not what I got to do today. I don't care what you think about me. I do run with a tribe. You happen to be part of it if you're watching this right now. And nobody owns the word tribe. You know what I mean? Why somebody tried to say they own the word tribe? Native Americans sitting in the fuck out of here. We've been running tribes yeah, since uh, for Talk to Webster's dictionary on that one. <laughs> so same thing goes with J Cats, you know what I mean? Like been Why dating it. They're trying to say they own the word J-Cat too now? No, no, no. You know, Section 8, uh, people don't get that these are all... Slangs. They're not own words. You right. Know what I mean, they're just a description of something that you and I speak the same language and you'll understand it. That's all. That's it. That's all. I mean, I ain't trying to take nothing from you or your people. And... If you're part of this channel, then you're my people. If you're not part of this channel, then you're not my people. You're wrong. We stay being of service. Why? Because somebody was of service to us. And, <laughs> man, what what I wouldn't have done for somebody to say, hey, you want a bed for a couple of weeks? You haven't taken a job of... Boy, I used to welcome violations, bro. Right? Violations were like a, a like days. save me. Yep. Like I when the customer go, yeah, when the customer go on me in the back of the car car, I'd be like, oh, thank God. You know what I mean? A rescue is what we used to call it. Yeah, and then I remember getting, and then when I got finally did get off the pole, I was like, in, in, in a way, I was almost scared. Like, 
I was like, stripped of all identity. Yeah, I was like, I was like, fuck, like, where am I gonna fall back to when when I'm burnt out of running the streets? What am I gonna do? Where's my fallback plan? You gotta catch a new term. Man. Yeah, where's my fallback plan? You know? Yeah. Just we start to rely on all the wrong shit, man. When all we really needed to rely on was the God of our understanding. Little did we know that back then. I'm grateful to know that today. Um, I'm grateful to be able to walk into places like Tarzana and just flash my car and go, hey, I'm just going to go back and visit people that I don't know. Right. I'm here to visit. Mm -hmm. Hey, what's up, youngster? How you yeah. doing? Anybody who will fucking... Be careful. Yeah, anybody who will listen. Yeah, shit. Something comes on there to they'll kill my shit. Yeah. Anybody will listen. You know what I mean? Like, fucking, hey, what's up, youngster? No, yeah. like going back to the program. Like, hey, what's up, bro? How you doing? Yeah. Just if any... any they're so eager and hungry for fucking yeah. that little ear of... Uh, Somebody to listen to them, you know? Right. And I'm grateful to get to listen to them. For real. You know? I'm grateful to get to be heard. You know? There's a few things that I didn't get to do, but those were one of them. And I'm grateful to become an adult today. Something of an adult, you know what I mean? I call in each night, like... Fucking calling a radio show to win a day's work throughout the month. You know, about the 33, bro. So you're, you're blessed with that one, bro. Yeah, but it's a nightmare in the same aspect. I call every night at five o'clock. Hope that somebody, I mean, I'll be 233 phone calls in. Get some hours. To no, to get my name put on a list for when, if there's work. Right. They'll call me the next day. And then I take a percentage of that. And I pay on a bed, you know. Um, you got, you know what I mean. Fucking and I get to do all that. Yeah, it's not because you have to. You get to you get do to it. do all that thing. Man. You know what you could be doing? Fucking wondering what the air tastes like at eleven o'clock at night. That's what yeah. you could be doing. Or fucking wondering if it's gonna fucking kick off at the first unlock tomorrow morning. So my own boy goes. I hope you have. A very blessed year or something like that. And he goes, I hope you have a good year this year. And I was like, I was all pumped up for 2020. I'm like, fuck a good year. I need a great year. You know what I mean? And he goes, you know better? The only thing I have to look forward to the rest of my life is to hope it's an uneventful year. <laughs> Another ball kicker. Doing time or? or uh... He's been down 27 years. Yeah, means I and all he prays for is an uneventful year, which means it's not going to kick off breakfast. You know what I mean? It's right. not going to fucking man. Like those are some slaps, pat, pat, pat that I need to get. You know what I mean? I still need to get those slaps. Fucking what's the air taste like at eleven o'clock at night? You know what I mean a fucking uneventful year, fucking. Do what you're doing right now. Be spun off on a telephone. You know what I mean? Is my girl going to call? These are things that we all just fucking rush through and take for granted. And we don't get to savor any of it. We're so busy that we fucking, life's done and it's over and we didn't live any of it. You know what I mean? Because we were just chasing that $15 an hour or we were doing whatever. Nobody told us about going to the GR office and getting some food stamps. And so we caught a fucking uh, a robbery extortion on the Pier of Santa Monica and got our first three strikes log case. You know, it's just crazy, man. It's, like, we, it's like perception. Of perception is everything. It's 100% everything. And if you think your life is bad, man, while you're complaining with this breath, someone's given up their last breath. Just remember that. You know? Just remember that. And the people that suffer around that, Kobe Bryant and his kid. You know what I mean? The whole world makes such a big deal about some guy who makes baskets. That, and don't get me wrong, I'm not taking nothing from him or what he means to the community. But what I am taking is how society was eating that up for their fucking extra subs or whatever when they didn't even give the family a chance to begin to grieve little do they know there was how many other people in that helicopter how many other people's kids on that helicopter 
I mean, in fact, the other little girl played on the same team as Kobe Bryant's fucking daughter, and she was killed as well, but she was put on back page until everybody was done discussing this and discussing eating up all the subs for Kobe and his daughter. And Kobe's wife hadn't even had a chance to fucking go, God, my fucking, you know what I mean? And that's getting slapped in her face on a regular. Well, society is savagery. I mean, if you think it's savage out here, just wait till you go in there and see what the savage of the savage do. So, guys, I'm going to cut this short because we got some Patreon to cut. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, Johnny, as usual, you're long-winded and I had to keep interrupting you. <laughs> so, uh, I thank you for fucking being a part of it, man. And I thank you for reaching out to some of these youngsters and hopefully... Hopefully there's a little Johnny out there watching going, that's me. I mean, uh, maybe I should listen to what I'm saying, you know. Um, if you got anything to say to you out there right now, go ahead and look in the camera straight on and tell them. Look, if there is a little me out there, uh, you better get it straight uh, because, uh, man, there's only so many chances in this lifetime, man. Don't squander the little bit of time you got left on this life, you know? And you're not promised that second chance. No. If you don't believe me, ask Kobe's daughter. Yeah. Every day's a fucking gift, you know what I mean? Fucking, uh, and to you youngsters out there, man, uh, man, take education seriously, man. Because without it, you're a second-class citizen, man. You're going to get shit jobs, you're going to be, you know? Bottom of the barrel, second Selling class dope. citizen, you know? Second dope. Selling dope. Selling dope, stealing, stealing car cars. Stereos. You, fuck, you can't, people don't even steal car stereos anymore. <laughs> you, you'd be hard pressed to sell a stolen car stereo these days. Uh, get a fucking education, man. Stay in school. Don't fucking do drugs, man. It's a fucking waste of fucking time. I know if this, if this reaches one fucking person, great. If it doesn't reach anybody, well, at least I tried. You know, uh, that's all I got. It's my story. I'm sticking to it. Right. I'm don't out. fucking not try. Don't not try, man. Whatever you do. Sure. So anyway, guys, deuces. Uh, I'm going to continue to say tribe. I'm going to continue to thank you for the platform. I'm going to continue to be a rough, tough Cocoa Puff. And, <laughs> you know, uh, while Big Sid's laying down fucking... That low and slow on my grill while I'm not doing the next six months in the county jail for possession of uh, anal beads and a black dildo. Well, then so be it, you know. I thought it was possession of swollen property. With intent to swallow. Right. So. You'd have beat the case if you ate the evidence. <laughs> right. <laughs> yes, thank you again for tuning in. Um, I'm sure Sandman will do a great job on editing this and... Wait till you check out this Patreon, man. We got some blood and guts for you. You know what I mean? So until then, deuces. So, some people wanted to happen. Some people needed to happen. The heavy hitters make it happen. Love and respect. Shout out to the entire tribe. That's a cut. That's right. right. So just leave it running, yeah. It's all right. Just leave it running because, uh, so, uh, Give me a fucking whole story, a fucking prison story, you know, so you witness something you're involved in, if you're involved in it, don't fucking state it, that it was you, you know what I mean, like, I went up and stuck them in the neck, give me one of those stories. Uh, uh, in the hole, on the yard, whatever. One that I witnessed or part of? Whichever, it doesn't matter, I don't need to know which it was, so I can't come to a court on you. So hang on, I'm going to do can't an introduction. <laughs> Do an introduction and then fucking do the, you know, I mean, a shoot video or something. But you can't have the fucking phone in your hand. Okay. So, um, damn. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Patreon. Um, I'd like to thank you for coming to this channel. And you may not be able to change the whole world, but you can change one person's whole world. You know what I mean? And that's what you're doing with assisting on this channel. So for that, I thank you. Um, Johnny Boy got a little story for us here, and these are some of the things that go on. Believe it or not, you know what I mean? This is not Ripley's Believe It or Not. This is fucking California Department of Corrections, believe it or not. Lay it out for you, man. 
something you witnessed, something you were involved in. I don't want to know which one it was, but you know what I mean? You've seen enough. Remember the pepper spray story where the whole house is red? Something like that. Or when they hit me with the fucking, uh, when they threw the grenade on me and kicked the fogs. Yeah. San Bernardino County Sheriff's fucking suck. Here's one. I'm fucking smoking cigarettes in Federal Holding in El South. Smoking cigarettes. Cops come through bitching about smoking cigarettes. They want to run us all off the fucking tier so they can fucking shake the cells down. Well, in uh, old San Bernardino, old San Bernardino County Jail, they fucking give you them Spider-Man underwear. So fucking my dumbass, you only get one pair there because you know they're fucking tight budget. So I'm trying to hide my extra pair of fucking drawers up behind the back of the bunk, whatever, whatever. I'm the last man out of the cell. And there's about four or five sheriffs coming down the tier behind me, and there's a sergeant. And the sergeant keeps pushing me in the back. Turning around like, I'm going, man. Walking, pushing me in the back. And I'm going, man, what the fuck? Pushing me in the back. I focus around, come on, man, I'm going. I turn around again, and they kick me in the balls from behind me. Fucking full blown kicking me in the ball. Boom! Drop me, put the boot to me, beat me up pretty good, zip tie me, and uh, drag me down into the stairwell. They drag me down the steps to the bottom of the stairwell, pepper spray me, leave me on the floor, lock the door, leave out, then they fucking key the door open the door and fucking pull the pin on one of those concussion grenades with the fucking rubber balls in it. Yeah, and fucking throw it in there and let the thing go off on me. Boom! Fucking rubber balls banging all over the place. Fucking behind tear. smoking a cigarette? Yeah, behind smoking a fucking cigarette, bro. Kick me in the balls and then threw a fucking concussion grenade on top of me. This is San Bernardino Sheriff's. And I mean, just ridiculous. Fucking ridiculous. And, uh... And after that was all said and done, march me down the fucking, uh, march me down in the hole and fucking put me in the hole. Another shit. I've never been beaten so bad in my life as I have by the cops. Not by fucking inmates, fucking fair fights, jumped, nothing. But by the cops. Another fucking serious ass cooking, kicking was, uh, it was... Smoking cigarettes again. Fucking fuck. When will I learn? LA. What the fuck? Did you hit anything on here? <laughs> what the what fuck? That? that one's still filming? Yeah. Okay. Uh, what happened? I don't know what happened. I don't think this one filmed at all on that whole thing. <laughs> But that no. one's filming, so it's okay. Uh, I'll go like this, and then I'll just do video. Oh, wait. No, you can press play. Yeah, bro. Nice. Okay, so if this is still filming, it's all good. So we'll just go to, uh, let's let him know. Bad motherfucker may be. <laughs> what was he saying? Bad motherfucker. Like <laughs> yeah, so, so these fucking dicks. Put the goddamn phone oh, down. Holy shit. So the fucking, uh, uh, these dick suckers smoking cigarettes in LA County jail. Uh, the, uh, we're in those cells behind the x ray machines, you know, that hallway behind the x ray machines where they did chest x rays and shit? LA County seen? Medical. Oh, X okay, the whole yeah, thing. Okay, the, yeah. yeah, yeah, right behind there. Okay. So I think the extra machines were broken. We've been being moved around fucking from one cell to another, back and forth for Easter weekend, like a three day Easter weekend, until their machine fucking got fixed. Finally some dude shits out the fucking tobacco package. And uh he shits out the tobacco package and we're fucking smoking this fucking cigarette and this dude's like, Pass it man, pass it. I'm like, hang on, motherfucker. You know, fucking tobacco straight out of the ass don't fucking smoke because it's kind of fucking moist. So I'm fucking trying to get a hit. Hey, pass it. Hang on, motherfucker. I'm fucking hitting it, hitting it. 
and they say, keys, keys, keys. I think they're just saying keys because they want me to pass the fucking cigarette. Right. So I'm fucking bogarting, right? Hitting the 